it, we're officially less than 48 hours away from our trip to California. It felt like there was stuff to be done, but I couldn't do anything until like we got closer. And now that we're closer, it's like, holy smokes. There's so much I would like to do yet. And I'm hoping that I can, I can be super mom and get it all finished. It's Monday, we leave Wednesday morning. And today I'm working on getting the house in order, making my list and like laundry and stuff like that. So that tomorrow when I spend the day packing, um, I don't have to be doing any of these extra little tedious chores. I am a, I'm a visual person and I'm a note taker. So I decided that I would have like a command center on our trip. And that is going to be my handy dandy notebook binder here, trapper keeper, whatever you want to call it. So along with having a lot of things in my phone that I can look up and have accessible text messages, blah, blah, blah. I'm also going to have it written down on paper so I can just like have an I have get my thoughts out of my head so I'm not quite so confused and all over the place and have them written down so I have a little bit more peace of mind and then I can like double check my list and add things to it because I'm a very forgetful person so I like to write things down as I have them on the top of my head or I will forget it like if I don't put something in my phone or on the list right away I will forget it so that's what this is for Anyways, so, so far so good. So windy. The wind was a real nightmare. I was not expecting. So, um, we're actually going to stop a little bit sooner than Utah. Um, but that's okay. Plans change. Anyways, we're going to head up to Mount Rushmore. See some sights.
The first day, like day one of the road trip, I left from Wisconsin, drove up through Minnesota and headed like through South Dakota. We made it to Mount Rushmore, which was really, really neat, really cool. My four-year-old thought that was like just the neatest thing ever. It was so cold though, holy smokes. And the wind is unreal. Like my sister was driving um, ahead of us and she was even talking about the wind. She's like, it was another dimension. <laughs> But so yeah, that wind was brutal through South Dakota. Um, that was about 12 hours and I was gonna try and make it to Salt Lake City and stay in a hotel there, but I just like went with my gut and I'm like, you know, I'm getting kind of burned out of driving. It was just me. It's not like I'm switching off with somebody. So I decided to kind of last minute um, change my plans. Cheap hotel in Wyoming. I stayed in Gillette, Wyoming and it wasn't fit fancy or anything a kind of sketch but it was just fine and then overnight there was like a big blizzard that came through there was like an inch of ice on the ground um so that was like really difficult driving in but it was sunny out and clear so i'd rather be driving after the storm hit with some ice than driving while the storm hit <laughs> and it's like a whiteout yeah left at 4 a.m on wednesday and then on thursday i left at six and drove all the way from Gillette, Wyoming, down through Utah, through Salt Lake City, through Nevada, and to Lake Tahoe. Um, it was okay, I know myself now that I don't like driving in the mountains, like the hills and stuff, that's just not, I don't like it. Um, it makes me feel like I'm on a roller coaster, it makes my stomach feel icky, and I get, feel kind of like dizzy. So I don't like driving in those but that's okay it was fine i did it us as parents you know you kind of like get over your fears or you know you be brave because you are the parent you have to be an adult and like get through stuff so it's all good we made it here we got this super cute airbnb it's just the cutest like cabin and there's a pool table which was really fun i'm learning some new billard games because my nephew was teaching me like nine hole or something like that. And yeah, it's cute, totally open, um, really nice size. Like all of us can hang out in this area together. There's a bunch of bedrooms. I believe there's five bedrooms or seven bedrooms. So there's a basement bedroom suite with its own bathroom. This is my room. It's the only one on the main level, but it's actually okay because most of the kids hang out in my room. So I'm fine with that. And it's got like a couch and a TV and a bel it goes to the balcony and there's an extra little bed and it shares the main bathroom, which is totally fine. Um, and then like upstairs are more bedrooms. Like my family's not here right now. They're, they went to the lake. I, when I have like anxiety and stuff, or like I need to just kind of relax, like we just got here last night, late last night, and it was snowing really bad. People were putting chains on their <laughs> tires and stuff. I just put all wheel drive on and drove slow. I was fine. Um, but anyways, like after a big trip like that, my tummy hurts. So this morning I was like, oh my God, my stomach was just rolling. So now I'm feeling better. I think my mom's gonna come back. They went out to the lake and to hang out and stuff like that. But I think my mom's gonna come back and we're gonna putz around. So let's go. It is. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Can you even see how big this lake is in the mountains?
had to check out of our Airbnb on Sunday early in the morning. So we ended up doing Easter egg hunt later on Saturday. The kids had fun, it was all good. So then Sunday morning was our last day at the Airbnb. We cleaned up, packed up, and then we headed to my sister's house in California. It was really nice, warm and sunny there. We had milkshakes and hung out. Saw this really cool park where peacocks live. Like they live naturally there. They put on a little bit of a show for us. So that was really neat. It's like bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Oh my goodness, yeah, there's, there's two, two of them over yes, there. Yes, there's two yeah, like, Turn other. around. I don't see the pretty side, don't see a butt side. Then headed straight out of there to our next hotel. Chancellor and I decided to stay on the border of Nevada, whereas my sister continued on to her Airbnb in Salt Lake City. The next morning, we headed out from our Nevada hotel and drove all the way to, I'd say, mid-Nebraska, where we stopped again. This place had a nice little hot tub and pool, so me and Chancellor got some relaxation. I think we are finally in Wisconsin. We just crossed over from Dubuque, Iowa to Wisconsin. So future Trish here, we're back. Um, we made it safe and sound. I had lots of prayers and said 1111 right off the bat. But uh, thank you so much for watching. This is more kind of like that home video style vlog, but I wanted to share it because I thought it was uh, a really fun trip and worth uh, sharing with you guys. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like my vibe, like and subscribe. Okay, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.